And I love diversity folks, because you're able to do more than just one thing. You can do a lot of different things. Now, the diversity that I'm talking about now is cultural diversity, different ethnic backgrounds. But within yourself, you can also be diverse because you can do more than just one thing. You can speak, you can say, you can read, you can talk, you can do anything you want to do. Anything you want to do. But make sure the educational process is your platform, is your, is your, is, is, is your power to do this. It's boring. It's boring to sit in front of teachers and watch them and listen to them talk for 50 minutes. I know that. They know it too. They get paid to do it. If you sit there long enough and listen to them over the years, you'll get paid to do it also. But you cannot do that unless you get an education. I don't care how smart you are. If you don't have a piece of paper that's saying socially that you are eligible to do it, you still don't be educated. So get that education. Get that education. I know I didn't answer the question because I forgot what it was. So. <laughs> <laughs> we talk about preparation. preparation. Oh, prep, prep. Education is your prep. E D U C A T U I O N. Edu education. <laughs> I can spell too. You got that, son? Education? It's boring sometimes. I know it's boring. I spent, what, 40 years in a classroom? 40 years in a college classroom talking to students. And a lot of them were I could see some of the kids. Learning, I see some of the kids dying because learning was a process. Learning was a process. And Chief, I know sometimes you go on these calls, you say, oh, Lord, how am I going to handle this? But you're educated to handle it. Not everybody's going to agree with what you do, but you got to do it. you got to stand behind that decision. you all the same thing. Now, ask me a question. What I show you where, what my daddy's name is, how many girlfriends, <laughs> how, why, why did I pick San Jose? You, you know why I picked San Jose State. Uh, what, do think, what do I think about Harry Edwards? All that stuff. You know who Harry Edwards was? Okay. Uh, my question was, do you know Harry Edwards? She said, wasn't he the person who left the blank space? Well, I can answer that in four or five different ways, but I know what you're saying. You mean the blank space on the statue? Okay. See, that's what I mean about education. Harry Edwards was the brainchild of the Olympic Project for Human Rights from whence that statue rose. Okay? So he was never a tranquil athlete. He was just a sociologist of a four point average here in college or a three point eight here at San Jose State. And he needed a platform for him moving on in, in the society because he was a he was a sociologist. His platform was social equality, so he used athletes on this campus here to heighten the awareness of this nation about the need for social awareness. So we were used to take this message on. And it did take a message on because there, one of the messages is sitting right out here on your campus. But there was not, it wasn't just John Carlos and Tommy Smith. You have people right here in this town right now, we talked about one of them, Frankie Slayton, who was also on the Speed City team. Speed City was a group of athletes at San Jose State here, just a group, 10, 12, 15 athletes. We were the fastest and the most academic oriented team in the nation. And from that team, four of those athletes out of those 10 went to the Olympic Games in 68. And out of those four people, one, two, three, three world records were broken from those four people from this campus. Mm -hmm. One, one, two, five medals, I think four was gold and one silver, just, just from San Jose wow. State. We all came back, and most of us graduated. <laughs> well, I won't call any names, but I graduated, okay? <laughs> but I had to come back to this college through the immense, re unreasonable hate on this college and go to school at night to finish my education. And I, it, took me five, it took me five and a half years get that degree. And I wasn't here to march because I was out working. I was in Cincinnati working because I had to leave California to, to get a job. Just so I can come back here and flap my and bump gum with you just for a little while. I know that you can't make it. You can't be somebody. You got a president going to back you. Simple and clear. Yeah, he's white. I know that. I can, you can see that too. But we're not talking about color in those lines. We're talking about color in the line of awareness. I'm going to quit right now. There are those who say, child, I don't see color. Mm. I 
I told him the other day, uh, Leon, that you ain't Ray, you're not Stevie. Therefore, you can see what you want to see. But they saw with the heart. And what you got that they don't have, you got a heart and you got sight. So, view the differences in color. Because it's there. Look at you. We got differences in color of us, our different hues. But what we must do understand is you work in spite of the difference. That's why it's called diversity. You got problems, you on campus, and might be some Hispanics and get some blacks or some whites mixed in there with some everybody's. But you gotta make a decision. And that decision better be of diversity. Otherwise, you're gonna be in trouble. This is the hardship of our system now to understand the realities of mind difference, of mind sources, and deal with it equitably. I'm not saying you're always right. But you better make when you write that report is of equity. Okay. I have not very much to say, but I can talk a long time. But I'm going to relinquish now. Leon Beecham. <laughs>